Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Second Chance Garden video. In this video, I am going to show you the ones that I've never talked about so far. Maybe because some of them are new and also it's just that I never figured out a way to fit them into a video format. Anyway, well let's get started. The first one is in the middle. The striking plant that I always wanted and this is new actually. Um, I wanted this so badly for the longest time yet. I don't know why I haven't gotten it until now. This is Peperomia watermelon and you probably figured out the why you know the name is watermelon. The, the foliage looks like watermelon. I think it's really beautiful and uh, it makes a huge statement in the room. Of course, I bought this as sort of like a seedling propagated version so that it's still in the 4 inch pot so it's nothing really striking about it but in half a year or so I get the feeling that uh, uh, it's going to be looking way more dramatic. I may be repotting it to a bigger size pot uh, we'll see, but so far so good. And let me just show you a little closer what's going on here. So the stems are, you know, in kind of brownish red stems. Really, kind of remind me of sweet potato potato vine a little. And uh, yeah, all these tiny leaves here, these are new and they started to grow after I received this shipment, so that the when I got this, it really was nothing much going on other than maybe like these three of them. And uh, I thought, oh well, well let me just put this in uh, on the heating mat, uh, water it well, and see how it goes. And it's really doing phenomenal. You see, this is another one coming out right there. Tiny leaf over here, and it's great. So, in case you noticed and wondering what the heck these things are, this one here and the one down here. So this type of plant, if you wanted to propagate, you have to do uh, leaf propagation. So, I mean, I might just give it a try and see if I can do like a stem cuttings and and if they would grow. Probably not. There must be a reason why the uh, the nursery did the you know the way that uh, they did. It's kind of like a um, propagating begonia. Uh, variety where you're gonna have to cut one of these leaves and just make an incision. You can lay this leaf flat on the soil to propagate or just as you see, I actually like this method probably better that you sort of slice leaves in like you know the three parts or something as long as this vein part back side of it touches the uh, the soil the root would have come from there, but you have to make an incision. And I can't wait to do the video for you guys and see how it goes. But first thing first, this needs to grow a lot. So that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, yeah, I love the way it looks. Okay, so the next one is a silver squill. I hope I pronounced it right. And I got this from eBay recently, and my god, the ceiling is so small. But this one is also called the Leopard Lily because of the foliage. And again, of course, I'm a you know pretty much foliage freak when it comes to anything variegated or has any spots and all that. I had to get these. Um, these got uh, the bulbs, tiny bulbs at the bottom, and I'm kind of keeping it loose at the moment because. I read that, that if you put the bulbs uh, like buried under the soil too deep, they're going to start to rot. And I don't know if it's true. Um, I hope not, but it needs to sit on soil, so I put them in. And uh, I'm putting this on the heating mat so that uh, they will start rooting. At the moment, there's no root with this thing. But these are alive and I hear it's pretty sturdy and easy to grow. So see how this goes. I'm really excited about this one as well because of the foliage pattern. There you go. This kind of reminds me of some of the uh, the orchid uh, species. We've got this type of leaves as well. And uh, yeah, I don't have any of those yet so I can get started with this one. And since these are really tiny, again, as usual, when in doubt, 
bag it and that's what I'm doing just to be sure kind of baby it a little bit and see how it goes all right so that's silver squirrel aka uh, leopard lily all right so those are the two moving on to the third one so this is the really odd one uh, I almost did this cuttings as a joke and firmly believe in that I can never get this to survive yet wow look at these so first and foremost I'm sorry well I need, I need to explain to you what this is so this is a uh, ficus benjamina and you must have seen these everywhere near like uh, you know at the florists or garden centers normally uh, you'll see these in a very mature form, like a tree form. These are trees. It's Ficus Benjamina. What happened was we inherited, this office inherited a couple of Ficus trees. We did everything to save them, but somehow they hated our environment. So they kept the dropping leaves and they were dying. Uh, they were pretty impressive, at least maybe that the, the trunk, the tree trunk had to be four inches, five inches in diameter. So it really was a pretty big tree. Then I thought, well, in case I lose all these trees, maybe I will try some cuttings. But I thought, you know, these are trees really. So even if I take some young cuttings off, the chances are, you know, probably 50-50, you know, they may not root. And that was about, I have to say, eight months ago. So I did these cuttings eight months ago. And uh, the older leaves, you know, these darker leaves here and there, these leaves have been there since then. And what I noticed was they weren't dropping. They weren't going, turning into brown or anything. But it wasn't doing anything else. So I thought, well, look, it looks like it's still alive. And when I touch the, the stem part, it's pretty steady. So they rooted somehow. I don't know how. Like, I just really didn't expect anything from this plant. But they rooted. So I kind of left it. And now, about three weeks ago, all of a sudden, it started to shoot out new leaves. I guess it noticed that the spring is here finally so these are tiny leaves coming out you know from each stem and uh yeah it's doing well now the question is i mean it's for up until now it was really slow going and all of a sudden this one is like a brand new leaf and it it, it became to this size in a matter of two weeks or so so it's kind of a scary um i don't know it's kind of like having a coffee plant or something I, I don't know what's going to happen to it. Uh, do I keep this until they become more like a trees and keep repotting and repotting? I have no idea. I'm just going to wait and see how well it does in this pot for a little longer. And uh, then, yeah, I'll think about it. The one thing about this ficus benjamina and why we failed to save those trees is that they don't like change. So they don't like a windy place, they do not like too hot of a place, but they need some sunlight, yet they would rather be in one spot and not getting moved around. And unfortunately, we all had different ideas in this office and people start moving things around and putting it under the direct sunlight and bringing it back inside and all that stuff. And well, I knew that wasn't going to go very well. So my fear is, if I do anything with this right now, it probably will hate it so much that, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's better soil or bigger pot, it's going to hate it. So I just wanted to keep it in this pot as, for as long as I'm able. And uh, I wanted to avoid the transplanting because these are pretty sensitive and, uh, you know, I can't even believe that it, these are still alive. So anyway, so that's Ficus Benjamina. And the last but not least is uh, a little gift that I got. It's so weird. It's randomly I got this gift from someone. And uh, you know, you've seen this old uh, glass orb thing that you can hang. <coughs> Excuse me. 
that you can hang. Um, I'm sure you've seen this before, and uh, yeah, I just got this from someone. And uh, yeah, it was completely unexpected. Of course, you know, I was really interested in this uh, container. Uh, this is everywhere, you know, on Amazon to, you know, um, God knows, like a West Elm website and all that stuff. And it's very popular. I've seen this in somebody else's videos as well. Um, but I kind of waited to see, you know, and maybe they go on sale or something that I will get a few. But now I don't have to even think about it. I got this one. And uh, I don't know if this one is the uh, the zebra whatever. Uh, it's, you know, it's, so it's called um, the succulent type. I didn't get around to look up the exact name, but I assure you that, that this is going to be just fine in this um, environment uh, so long as I, you know, water every now and then. I mean, the back side, you can see uh, there's some soil on the back right here. Um, looks a little dry, but I think it's all right. But anyway, um, yeah, these are the uh, just some new or some old plants that I never got around to talk about. And uh, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this video and please look out for more new videos from us. Thank you very much for watching.